Hi everyone, welcome to Big Oggy Golf and we're here at Oak Banner Golf Club Yes uh, Near Taunton and uh, we're here with Simon Parks <laughs> one of the Buccaneers um, you will see Simon uh, more regularly on the channel from now on uh, we've done some filming before at St Pierre and over, at the Belfry we've been all over the place John we've been all over the place yeah. and now you're coming down here so you're based up in South Wales now yes I am yeah moved from Warwickshire down to South Wales uh, last year then it started raining and well <laughs> yeah I mean, it all, what can I say I mean it always rains in Wales what are you doing in Wales I uh, know I've got webbed feet now though so that's a good thing true <laughs> And I've come up from Cornwall, and so we're in the middle, really. This is kind of a yeah. midpoint for us, and uh, it's a beautiful place. We've, we've arrived early, we've looked around some parts of the course, stunning course. 11 holes of water. Yeah, I know. I'm that, shaking that's my head scary. in the background. I'm, I'm just thinking maybe I should have brought a trailer full, full of balls just to fill the well, lakes up. <laughs> I, we are doing a what's in the bag, as we're doing with all the Buccaneers, so kind of introducing them to the channel and obviously yeah. what they play with. Simon's had a couple of changes or been thinking about some tinkering changes yeah. recently. Um, so we're going to start off with that. Um, the strange thing about the what's in the bag with all the water is you've got a very important device there, mate. I don't think that's going to be long enough, that ball grabber. Oh yeah, they, well this, this has been yeah. re-gripped re a number of times. I don't think um, that's going to be long enough today seeing some of the size <laughs> of the water here. It has had a lot of use in the past. You can ask uh, Nigel at St. Pierre about this one. I think it was St. Pierre. Yeah, when you went fishing. That's the one, yeah. That's the one. So it's not like a norm trying to get my ball back out of the lake. <laughs> yeah, but it's if you've got plain where water is, you've got to get yeah, we'll, we'll give to, it a go. Have one, I, yeah. I, I guarantee we'll be using it. We're going to do a couple of um, videos today. Not sure what we're going to film yet. We're just going to play the course and film some holes, and we'll do that in another video. As I said, this, yep. is, this is the what's in the bag. This is an introduction. You play at where, Simon? I My home course is Tredegar Park Golf Club, which is on the side of a mountain. Uh, just outside Newport. You want me to play there now, don't you? I want a buggy. Right. Oh, you buggy, you, you need a Sherpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go and play there at some point in the future. Yes. Uh, I've just got to travel a bit, that's all. Yeah, it uh, is a beautiful is course. Yeah, and I'm used to travelling over bridges and places well, that right, speak yeah. in a slightly Celtic accent, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we'll be doing that. We'll also be meeting Simon again when we go to play uh, Saint Pierre again, I think, and also yeah. the Kendallshire in Bristol. That's right, yes. So we'll be, we'll be up there in the next couple of weeks, which will be really cool. That's with the UK Corporate Golf, I think, as well. Isn't yeah, it? UK Corporate yeah. Golf and Nigel Barrett, who is another one of the Buccaneers. Indeed, yes. Okay, yes. so. Uh, and orange. Yeah, and very orange. <laughs> we will get very red and pink today. It's supposed to be going to hit 31 degrees. Well, I've got my Factor 50 on. Uh, so, so have I. Yeah, I'm ready, ready to crisp, it, crisp up a bit. We were thinking about doing this under shade, but, yeah. uh, well, you know, let's get a bit dark. So let's move on. Let's uh, right. do what's in your bag. Okay, right? what's in my bag? So shall we start at the top of the bag or the bottom of the bag? Well, the top of the bag has been changed, hasn't it? Indeed, yes. So normally I've been playing Ben Ross, um, and so I was out on the core. I was playing a competition on Saturday, gone, um, and couldn't drive. I drove the first couple of holes, drove fine. It went downhill. And I wasn't sure what was what was wrong, and it sounded weird. So the next next day when I was out, uh, I played played at uh, Ardencourt Manor in Warwickshire near my daughter's house, and my my friend who was with me said that sounds really weird. I had a look, and there was a great big crack in the bottom in the sole of my um, club. So I went to my pro. And I, I, I would say that's probably wear and tear. Ben Ross are normally you know, pretty good. Oh, but they are the fantastic. Yeah, you've used using them to great effect for some time. Uh, I mean, to be that that's had a lot of. Uh, I was I'd like to say use but it's had a lot of abuse as well you yeah. know it's like it's it's not had an easy life <laughs> and so a bit like me yeah. so I went, went to see my pro Chris at Tradiga Park and uh, cracking lad and he sorted me out of club uh, so we spent an hour or so on this sim and uh, yeah so this new um, club I have a funny feeling it's not a ping <laughs> you know when they run out of head covers yeah so I actually got the Striction Z785 Okay. Uh, this is set at nine and a half degrees, standard loft. Um, you have to speak up because we've got the curse of the green keepers again. It happens on every one of my videos. Yeah, is he coming here to cut the course? I don't Could know. It? We're going to find he out. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, so after the slight uh, interlude with the green keepers cut in the uh, practice area, very nice man he was too. We are back with the new Strixon driver. Indeed, yes. So, as I said, I got, I got fitted for... This is actually still the demo club that he fitted me with. Okay. And so he's ordered my new club. It's got a 10-size um, CK Pro Blue 60S shaft in it. Go through my head. Uh, me too. He just said, yeah, he, he, we tried probably about six different shafts. Yep. 
and he, uh, he he said, yeah, we were getting the best better numbers and it got rid of my horrible slice. Well, I've seen you hit a couple of balls a minute ago on the range and they went like a rocket. Yeah, it it, it has made a difference. Yeah. It has made a difference and uh, I haven't brought a Sharpie, so I, I better not sky this. <laughs> so that's the, uh, the, is that the top of the bottom of the bag? Top of the bag, top isn't it? Top of the bag, it? I so, reckon, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's my uh, my driver. Okay, so while you're putting that one away, you are what handicap now? Because you, you started, well, I didn't say start golf, but... I met you around the same time we were similar handicaps, like well, I, I, late 20s, high, yeah, mid, I was mid, 28, late 20, yes. 28, and you, you swine, I've got just rocketed down the, down the I, charts, I, I've, really. I've been, I've, I, I have been lucky, I've had a couple of good lessons, and uh, my mentors, who sadly passed away, uh, Monsef, uh, who actually got me into golf, around the same time as you, John, I started yeah. about the same time as you, he got me into golf, and he uh, would verbally beat me with a verbal stick. Okay. <laughs> well, right. I'd like to say my camera work's improved, but my golf hasn't, and uh, you haven't been on camera recently. So you're now down to? That, I'm now down to 13. Yeah, well, and it's really well done. But then, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, I'm really pleased. But obviously, with the shutdown and close down, I was hoping to see if I can make it to somewhere near single figures this yeah, year. Yeah. But that isn't going to happen. If I can stick to 13 by the end of the year, I'll be I'll be in a happy place. Yeah, of course. So, uh, is this probably some of the reasons why you're starting to tinker with some of the clubs and change well, things around? Going well, from yeah. high handicap to mid yeah, handicap? So I, yeah, as, as mentioned, I, I was previously playing Ben Ross. Uh, my whole bag, bag was Ben Ross. And uh, I've slowly moved away from it. You know, I'm not, not detracting from the Ben Ross, but I've found that uh, I haven't been buying new clubs. I've been going around to uh, reuse centres, recycle centres, and picking up clubs and trying them. Yeah, yeah. And, and working it that way. It's, I don't have money to burn. You know, some people yeah. can afford to do it. I, I can't. I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not in that position. So I have to see what I can get hold of and try them and work it that way. Yeah. And as we discussed off camera, you're not a one brand junkie. No. Oh, you know, no, so, you, no, so you're we'll, not a team we'll Titleist or a crew Callaway or whatever. Yeah, that's you it. Know. It's big steel borrow and, I, and I'll play what I play better, not what looks best. Yeah. If I can play a club better, that's what, that's what's staying in the bag. I think that's the, that's the key to everyone. Yes, there's always going to be people who absolutely love a certain brand. Yeah, but definitely. You know, even if you keep buying new updated versions of that brand, sometimes you'll end up going back to one that was really old, but you preferred, they might change exactly. the technology, but you don't know what you're using. Yeah. Uh, why not just chop and change with that, different that, clubs that's if you like That's my thoughts, John. I'd, I'd rather play what I feel comfortable with. It gives me confidence. And so, you know, it's, there is a big lot of, uh, uh, there's, there's a large amount of head play, if you like. Sure. You know, the psychology side, where if you're not confident when you're swinging the club, you're not going to swing it well. Okay. So, Simple as that. so next where are we club, next? is this little bad boy? This is my three wood. Okay. And it was, a, it is a McGregor Tony V foil three. See, I love the way that a lot of people, we've done a few of these these bags now, um, they ask and then look at the club they've got. Oh, yeah, I have not. Because it's just a club. For well, that's it, you see, because you know, that, that, my driver had a pin cover on it, so I wasn't sure where that was actually <laughs> <laughs> the right club. But yeah, I, I like this club. I did have a, um, a Ben Ross HTX three wood. But I found the head was very thin on it. Okay. Whereas this has got a slightly higher head. Yep. And I got it got it regripped. This cost me two quid. Brilliant. And got it regripped and swing it lovely. Yep. Uh, I have no idea what shaft is. It's 70 grams, low bend profile. Somebody might know what that means. Not me. Low bend profile. Yeah, low Fairly bend. Fairly stiff, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> um, now on to my fairway wood. Okay. So this is the little Cobra amp. This is adjustable three or five. I actually got this uh, given to me of um, John Urin. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. John, John Urin sent me this. Yep. I'd be. I'd be going to get John the channel. He's, he's popped down from seeing me at West Cornwall a couple of times right, on his yeah. trips back and forwards. Yeah, lovely guy. He's doing amazingly well. He's doing he charity work and uh, running for charity, I believe. At yeah, the moment. yeah. So good on him. Well done, John. But yeah, he, he sent me down this and another one. The um, red, they sent me a blue one as well. Okay. The blue one I actually passed on to Matt. Matt from Exeter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. remember his surname. Sorry, Matt, you're probably watching this and going, <laughs> you dog. But yeah, lovely guy. And uh, he needed a fairway club, uh, a rescue club. And so I let him have that one and passed it on. But yeah, I love this thing. And it makes a gorgeous noise. Uh, so, and I can hit it as well. Well, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, I lost the cover off it. I have to say, I've, I've, you know, we did the box in the bag with Darren the other day, and he's got Cobra hybrids, a lot of mm. them. Got, got mostly Cobra clubs, but he's got Cobra hybrids, and everyone keeps telling me how good Cobra hybrids yeah. are. And I, 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 I will say, I struggle with the hybrid, my Titleist one. I don't know why, I just do. So mm. maybe I will try a Cobra one and see if that improves. I've got a, I've I got a pink crossover for you can have a go of if you want, because I oh, can't get away with the G400. Thing. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like the uh, thing Liam's got one, it's, it's a burglar stick. I've got yeah. one, I just can't hit the damn thing. <laughs> uh, if you don't know who that is, that's Liam from Golf Vlogs Sorry, UK yes. and Golf Mates. Yeah. <laughs> this is how this is how we kind of met, really, did, me and yeah. Simon. And as I said, Simon obviously lives nearer me, in a way. So he's, he works kind of does bits on both channels. Really, yeah, so well, supports yeah, both yeah, channels, I'll, and that's, that's I'll, a good way to be. That's what it, a golf community is all about. Exactly, yeah, we're all friends. You know, it's we're all one bar, a gigantic group of people who like hacking around Chase the small balls around big fields. Yeah. <laughs> That's in essence what it is. Okay, so. Irons. Irons. So my four through to pitching wedge okay. are all, I think they're about 20 year old, Mizuno Tzoids. Very so nice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And you've got um, a four iron, yeah? So you go. I've actually, I've actually got a three iron, but the three iron is a bit too much of a butter knife that okay. it scares me just looking at it. <laughs> and so, uh, but, but my. My rescue that that covers that distance that covers anyway, that, so yeah. I'm in a good place. I do have another three iron that I like, but I've kept it out of the bag today, and that's the Callaway Big Bertha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got the that's re that's a really nice club, uh, but my bag's full. Right, and there's uh, a lot of water today, believe me. So yeah, that's yeah. So I, I don't want to hit it too far because I might hit the water. Well, I think we'll be hitting the water a few times today at least. Yeah, let's yeah. Hope. yeah we'll discuss that, balls later. That's, that, that's going to need re uh, re gripping again, <laughs> isn't it? A ball thing. So my, my pitching wedge is actually out of my Ben Ross HT, HTX okay. set. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yep. Sorry, gap wedge. Gap wedge. So a gap. I actually love this club. And so although I could have gone for a different man manufacturer, it's about 52 degrees, 50, 52 degrees. Okay. I can't, I can't hit it badly. Stick with what you love. Exactly. So yeah, it shouldn't belong in the set, but it goes well for what I need. It belongs in the set because it's your set. It's yeah. Your personal set. Mm, that's very true. Yeah. And then. I'm on to my SM6. Okay. Yes. SM6 56 degree. Yep. Uh, Tightlist. I love it a bit. Um, I can use play it well, use it well. And there's nothing else can be said. Um, I'll be uh, somebody, my pro is trying to get me to move over to Cleveland on the wedges. Yeah. Good um, reputation as well. There's a lot, of, a lot of them being pushed around at the moment, a yeah. lot of Cleveland brand. So. Yeah, so, but he's getting me, he's getting me wanting to have a try of. Whoop. Oh! It's done that Keep a few going. times. Oh, that's fine. You need. We don't have a stand bag today. We're using a, a buggy, so yeah. he's got a cart bag. So yeah, you should. We're, we're expecting little 30, tip. Put 30 your foot on the front degrees. of it yeah. when you're doing it. Okay. I'm leaving it in. You know, don't you? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's got to. It's got to. Right now, I'll lay it down instead of letting it drop fall down this time. <laughs> okay. So my pride and joy. It's had some abuse. It has had lots of use. Uh, it looks pretty worn there on that. Yeah. Put it on the. Yeah, the Odyssey grip, so. Tank One um, putter. My, Very nice. my flat stick. Yeah, I love it. It's a uh, 30, 36 inch. Okay. But I, tend, uh, I was told to get this length because I tend to lean down a lot when I'm when I'm putting, and okay. it just works. Um, yeah, it's just the idiot waving around that needs to sort out the well, putting Well, that's always the same things. with putters, I think. Well, with most clubs, to be honest. Yeah, that's so. it. Yeah, that's so. But yeah, this was my second ever putter. My first one was just I don't know. I, Got it from one of those pitching, uh, those crazy golf type course. Yeah. My first yeah, yeah. In fact, no, it wasn't. It was the, you know the Dunlops that um, okay. uh, Sports Direct sell for a tenner. Yeah, yeah well, pretty much the same putter. place. Yeah, crazy yeah. golf place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so I love that, and um, my pride and joy. Yeah, we have to discuss the cover because yeah, you know, I love this company. You love this company. Indeed, yes. Yeah. Scott Redmond Concepts made me this. This uh, I'm at X Force as RAF, and. Uh, Scott Redman took my number one uniform and uh, made me this out of it, and it's I, I love it a bit. He did a fantastic job. And in a strange fantastic. connection, I hadn't actually met Simon at the time, I don't think, but we talked to each other at various yeah. points. And I was actually at Scott Redman a few days after this arrived when the actual uniform turned up, right. and, I, and he shows me the uniform and goes, Oh, this is someone else. And I thought, I know who this is. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw the uniform before it was torn to shreds and cut yeah. up. And well, yeah, he's, he's done an absolute blinder on there, round all. Uh, yes, my rank, and those of you that are in the forces and know this rank, I managed this, I stayed at this for 10 years. I was not a good person in the, in the forces. Uh, that's my medal, which is a GSM for Northern Ireland. I was in Northern Ireland in the okay. 80s when it uh, it wasn't much fun, but no, hey. Difficult uh, times, yeah. Exactly. I lived yeah. in Ireland myself, so. Right, okay. Yeah, my, my family are from Ireland. Way back, way back. Hence the ginger, white, bowl. <laughs> Well, yeah, he's got a hat on today. That was the other thing. Lockdown. Well, last yes, time I saw you, my... you had a lot of hair, <laughs> and you had uh, sideburns. You looked like someone that was exactly. not the older out of Slade, actually. Yeah, I and, did. Yeah, yeah I had a, had a nice beard and everything going and it's on. Gone. It just like went. Yeah. If I've still got a picture, I'll put one on. <laughs> yeah. 
So, um, you've just dropped the bag and probably broke your uh, rangefinder, but you have a rangefinder. Yes, I have a rangefinder. So I didn't. I, the Bushnell's great, okay. uh, but this is the uh, Milsey. Absolutely amazing bit of kit. Does exactly the same as the Bushnell, half the price. Well, that's what we got to think about now. Moment. Yeah, I've seen a few people with them. Obviously, a couple of cloths. Golf fit that that gets a lot of use. Yeah, clean, clean the face with my golf clubs. And yeah, you're I, one of these people that clean your clubs a lot, aren't you? I am. Yeah. I know. I should do more often. It, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's going to make much difference with the Mizunos because the, the they're not that brilliant condition, but you know, it's like, try and take care of them a little bit. Yep. Um, ball marker. Ball marker. Oh, yep. it's just something to chase the kids with. Well, yeah. <laughs> like a Snapdragon, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> um, usual towels. Yep. Golf mate's towel as well. Oh well yeah, done. golf mate's towel and. Uh, I've got a golf mate's bag tag on mine. My and, uh, bag tag. Prezi off the wife. Uh, golf, golf towel off the wife. Parky, what does it say? Yeah, parky. Uh, go for the green. Go for the green. Which is, uh, I, I, I do try and go for the green, it's just not very often it actually happens. Well, you know, I, I say it a lot on my on the channel, and it's uh, my my game is I don't commit enough. Mm. I look at something and pull out of it almost halfway through the swing. Yeah. And so what happens, it always goes wrong. You know, commit, go for things, go for things. We're in it for fun. Exactly, yeah. And if you don't go for things, you never know if you're going to work on it. That's right, yeah. Yeah, if you know, what's that putting thing? It never up, never in. Yep. So what have we got in there? That's that's money. You don't need to see that. Oh, it's got money it's as well. There's not a lot in there. Um, a spare cat and spare. Oh, Ben Ross. See, Ben Ross. I do love yeah, Ben Ross. I have Ross. a funny thing. You won't be using that today, mate. No, I think that's more of a boil in the bag thing. Yeah. That one. Uh, that's all that's in there. Okay. Pocket is just full of pencils and sharpies and oh, that's the code for the ladies' toilets. For the wife. <laughs> Not for me, well, for the no, wife. But, but your wife does uh, go around with you on. Oh yeah, she does. She loves little going adventures for a on the courses sometimes. Yeah. Oh, she's always always out on the course with me. Yeah. Uh, she's got bad hips and bad knees, so quite often if we do, if we're doing 18, she'll use the buggy. But if not, she'll try and walk. She's your support walk, team, support crew, mate. I'm not sure how called support. What she says <laughs> to me when I'm in the ball. <laughs> but yes, she's there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tees, yeah, you're tees. using the tea we're trying out, or I'm trying out as well at the moment. Yes. So, ocean teas, the bamboo teas, some yeah. ocean teas. Oh, they're, they're amazing, but we'll, yeah, we'll hopefully we'll get, get something done with them later yeah, because they are can brilliant do. teas. And obviously, handfuls of teas. I, I find that I can never have too many teas. Well, that's true. I can never have too many balls, but. <laughs> well, that's what we're coming to next. So, okay. I'm being. Oh, well, look. Ocean teas, ah. Oh, ocean teas, oh, I'll leave that there. Branding there with me, look, Yeah, look, there we go. So I've changed balls recently as well. Okay. So I was normally playing the uh, Strix and AD Triple Three, and uh, my pro suggested that I mo try these. The, these the Strix uh, Q Star Tour. That's the, yeah, the Q Star Tour. I think they're replacing the Triple Three. I think. Are they? Oh, okay. Someone told me that the other day when right. I when I show them on my channel. Uh, uh, but, I was given a few of these yeah. to try as well. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, I, I play off thirteen. I'm not an amazing player. Uh, but the people have said, oh, you'll get a lot more feel off it. And I've been doubtful. And there is something different. Yeah. You know, I, I can't deny it. Is it the feel? I'm not, not 100% yeah. Are we sure. good enough to notice that sort exactly, of thing? Exactly, yeah. But yeah. there's definitely a difference. I feel a bit more confident. So therefore, they've gone my back. Absolutely. The best, yeah, the best reason. All about confidence. Okay? Yeah. Uh, obviously, you've got the few. Oh, there's, a, oh, there's always oh, a few spare ones lying around. Yeah. Yep. They're for the ones where you're on the first tee and when you're over water, just uh, try something yeah, else to get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the practice ball. Oh, the the uh, ruin your game tool. I mean, sorry, golf club adjustment tool. Yeah, so you see, so you've got one as well. Darren's well, got one in his bag. I don't carry mine, but I understand well, why. So it's only for the um, uh, the Cobra. Oh, okay. Because yeah, every yeah. now and again, oh, depending on the it. course, I'll, I'll change it, change the height on it. Right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I thought it was the, like the one for the driver where you no, screw I'll, the head back on. No, the uh, so, no, me, so my my uh, the driver's set by my pro. Okay. I'm not going to touch it. He knows what he's doing. I don't. Absolutely. Yeah, got, got, to trust, got to trust the experts, haven't we? Exactly. That's what it is. Um, what else? Oh, winter tees. Winter tees. Yeah. Rubber bits on a bit of string. Yeah, which usually in there, invariably tear off and rip into the distance somewhere. Yeah. That's happened many <laughs> times. Uh, right in here. So this is the. Oh yes. Here we go. The uh, the the particular age group where you need drugs. Yeah, so I've got the same issue. I've yeah. got a few painkillers and naproxen yeah, yeah, and the you name it. Painkillers to get you around the course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, younger lads will have no idea what we're talking about, no, but one no, day, no. mate, you will one know. Day, yeah. Will. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I keep on crouching down, standing back up, which is dirty my knees too much. 
So what else have we got? Oh yeah, so being uh, the uh, fair and beautiful skin that I have, I attract every bug yeah, in yeah. the country. He's actually strawberry blonde. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so this stuff, um, it's got uh, some fantastic stuff in it that kills most things and probably people as well actually. But, uh, <laughs> But it, it is really good. Uh, you spray that on, nobody comes near you, and the flies keep away as well. Which is it good. Stinks. Yep. Um, again. More. Yeah. Definitely yeah, factor, factor, factor fifty. 50. Yeah. Uh, I can feel myself frying already, and I've already yeah, had a little layer of this on, so I'll have to up that up. And. Um, <laughs> Make the old scorecard. Curly scorecards. Nice to see you clean your bag out, especially for this day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no rotten, no rotten bananas in. No. Yeah. Which I was surprised that was. Well, yeah, I was wondering about that would happen too. Yeah. So, do you normally take food or anything with you, or is it just drinks? I tend to take a banana and, and uh, an easy peeler orange. Right. I like oranges, but I hate peeling the damn thing. Yeah, so yeah. I grab the easy peelers. Yeah. And usually one of them and a banana and some water. Okay. Because uh, obviously, it's, uh, we were, John and I were talking earlier. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. Yep. And. Uh, I'm eating a lot more fruit and drinking a lot yeah, more. But it's working, cause from what I've heard. So yeah, well, yeah, well, you, yeah, you and Darren and another couple of people that I know are losing weight very well at the moment, and I need to do something about it. And I've, you are inspiring me to do so. Well, I, I hope so, John. It's you know, it's I think it's doing me good. I, yeah. I can. I walked 18 holes the other day, and I didn't need an iron lung at the end of it. Yep. Um, it can, it can only be better for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it will, and I'm sure it will help you, and it'll it's, certainly help me at some point yeah, in the future. Yeah, and it's having the support of your family as well, which which I think you'll have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially with the cooking channel and the food you do. I know, that's the problem. We, got, oh. we haven't put anything on for a couple of weeks because it's kind of something very well, but uh, yeah, we're going back to that. We'll have to do some healthy options. Yeah, please do, because yeah. those ones that you cook, they look <laughs> immense. <laughs> the is, just because I cook them doesn't mean I have to eat them. I can cook no, them and do. give it's, them to no, people. Sorry, it is, it, that's law. That's law. You've got to eat it. <laughs> Uh, if you if you don't watch the cooking channel, uh, it's called the Big Oggy Bake House. Please go and have a look. Yeah, it is. It is good stuff. There is some good food on there. <laughs> it can't be slim. I'll have a I'll have a cooking channel. Yeah, it, it it's, work it's definitely not slimming world friendly. There's a lot of sins on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that it, mate. That's my what's in the bag. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Um, no Hope special ball marker or anything. No lucky ball marker. No. You got some stuff on your hat. Oh, actually, oh, do you know what? On. I do have. I'm glad you said that. It's it's. It's my lucky ball marker. So when I first uh, went, went, the first ever trip I went away with, uh, with Lee and the golf mates yep. uh, to Spain, um, really the guys at Golf Shake, I contacted them, reached out to them, and they sent me like three bucketfuls of teas yep. and some ball markers. And thank you Very guys good. at Golf Shake. Yeah, I, I love this thing. It's just immense. It makes the right noise. You know, when you flick them up, you've yeah, got to have yeah. that little yeah, ting. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah it, it does all that and it marks the ball. So every now and again, when I'm on the green, I can actually use the ball marker. <laughs> yeah, lovely. And it's a nice memory. It's one of those yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's, all, it's all about making memories. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank well, you for wanting to be part of the Big Hockey crew and the Buccaneers. And I hope you're going to see you, uh, lots more on the channel. Well, we will be because we've certainly got a whole lot of indeed, things. Indeed, yes. Let's get on that course and go and cook. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Cooking child. Let's go and, <laughs> yeah. let's go and fry today, shall we? Yeah, it's yeah, crispy. <laughs> Okay, if you've uh, enjoyed this video or enjoy any of our videos, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, do all that stuff. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. As long as you're, you watch occasionally and we're friends and we all are part of this community we're building across the Southwest, that's fine by us. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you all soon.